Hello there, internet and Instagram. I am uh, going to continue my series of uh, how I wrote songs. You're uh, welcome to my studio, by the way. This is where the magic happens. Okay. So uh, this is a song I want to talk about. A song that um, is uh, on my first album, '69. It's called Sunlight, and I thought about it about after I made the two first videos, I thought about this song and it's, it's really a song that I uh, really made thinking about uh, common notes. As, you know, like I remember one time I was at a friend's house in Berlin and I looked at some jazz uh, sheet music, you know, she was playing the piano and I, I just looked at the chords and the melody and everything and I thought, wow, you know, like there's not really a key here, it's just it's just uh, as long as two chords have one common note, you can actually combine any chord with each other, you know, because the air accepts it, you know, because you have a common note that is kind of the, the one foot that you stand on and then everything else can change around that one, one note. So I didn't even realize this, but this, this song Sunlight is really based on F sharp being that note that like an anchor and everything is revolving around it and it starts on uh, D major 7th <laughs> which is kind of my favorite chord it seems uh, and the melody goes breathing. and then it's a 2-5-1 kind of thing I go up in a E and the E has a ninth in it which is now the F sharp again and then it goes to an A with a 6th which has F sharp in it as well, so it kind of goes like this. We sing delightfully fine. So until there, everything is safe within the, the frames of D uh, of uh, a D major key, and then I go to an F sharp fourth, and uh, I can't remember the words. We sing delightfully by a song. We sing. The kind of idea behind the song was to to uh, juxtapose, uh, juxtapose uh, you know, the, the good feeling about being in love with somebody and uh, the bad things, you know, like, like uh, you know, half of the sentence was about how beautiful everything is and the, other half of it was about how messed up it was, like the kind of a idea of a sweet pain situation. So it went like this. We sing delightfully by a song. We sing, and that's also when I break with the D major key center. On the towering sky. So there it's a. Uh, the F sharp is now the major seventh of a G chord, and now it's the root note of a F sharp dominant chord. Ah, nah, nah, ah. To B minor, and F sharp is the fifth of D minor. So it's it's really like. Mm, do, do. going on there it's kind of like uh, saying this is a major third is major third nine six four major seventh root da -da -da -da. because I play an E dominant chord so that is kind of the whole verse a bunch of chords um, but that was uh, you know I really every time I wrote a song I try to find a different uh, angling a different uh, challenge I would say too you know and uh, this was uh, the song that was 
just supposed to be a clutter of chords, you know. And then I go into the chorus where I kind of shift my attention from the F sharp being the anchor note, and now it's D instead. You. So I play a, a, what is this, a B flat major seventh, and then I go into a B minor. You. It's a minor third, now it's a fifth. Mm -hmm. Minor seventh. Which takes me back to to B uh, to D major, which was the original key of the verse. There's also a bridge in there, but I'm not gonna go into that because the video would be too long. But this was really a uh, a song that I really try to write around common notes and and how you can just and this is how I look at it you know you have like one foot standing somewhere and everything else around it is moving you know which I guess you know I don't this it's not a new concept but it was really a part of exploring and learning about harmony, which I, I, I love harmony. I just really love it. And it's it's so challenging and so rich and there's so many textures that you can do, you know. And, um, and, and I like doing this series actually. I made two videos already and I think that it, it could also help me to, to get more clarity about what I've been trying to do because I've uh, put out three albums and I'm very happy with them. I don't think all the songs are on the same level of you know brilliance but it's it's uh, uh i would totally sign my name on them any any time you know and uh and now i need to take a little breather and uh, figure out how to move forward so i'm still writing but i'm not planning to put out an album uh i'm more like in a phase i think of of discovering myself or discovering you know uh, where I want to go with it and uh, so doing this and making a series about what I already did and kind of sharing it with the intention of being you know I guess um, you know generous and uh, yeah and I would love if people have any questions or if there's something maybe I don't even know what kind of level I uh, these videos require uh, you know um, uh, so I would love to, uh, feedback if you have anything you want to like contribute with or ask me you know or any uh, su subjects you want me to talk about because uh, I, I, I just love music theory <laughs> I really do I know it's nerdy and uh, yeah and if you want to move beyond just downloading beats you know what I'm saying you know and then I'm the man yeah you can also check out my website which is crystal music and uh, yeah I got three albums published so if uh, if uh, this sparked your curiosity yeah and remember stay funky oh wait I got the power right here here we go.